and here I am Richard Andrew, Richard A5. Now Richard A5 is the creator. If I look at the members, all right, Richard A5 is organizer and creator. This other guy here is a member and this other guy here is a member. So here I am, I am the creator. I'm gonna to go to my home and let's create something. If you want to do anything in a wiki, if you want to create anything, then you first click edit. And let's delete all of this. Welcome to our new wiki. Um, let's add some stuff. And of course we need to save changes. Now if I go from Richard Andrew 12's uh, view, I could click, I could either refresh my page or click wiki home. Look at that. So let's say Richard Andrew 12 wants to edit the page. So click edit. Let's say he wants to add an image down here. So go to file. And I've already uploaded this image. The way I did that was I pressed upload file and then navigated to it and clicked open. Um, so now I select the file. That's clearly too big, so I'm going to hit the negative sign a few times. And that will do me. And then I will click save. So now Richard Andrew 12 has made an, an addition. Let's go back to the creator of this wiki, uh, Richard A5, and see what it looks like if I click my home page. Oh, there it is. Now let's bring in Richard Andrew TTA. He hasn't refreshed his page, so it still looks like the old one, the original. Click home. And there we go. So let's, Richard Andrew TTA wants to make an adjustment. Um, it's going to edit, uh, put the cursor down somewhere, and here is my comment. Now, you don't use this like a forum. I mean, we could all be creating um, some content about the pyramids in Egypt and uh, or whatever. Um, so there is a comment bar up here, but why use that? You know, if we we're collaborating on a particular project, then sure, you could use that comment box. But I wouldn't use the comment as an alternative to the Moodle forum because the Moodle forum is much more detailed and it's more comprehensive. This is uh, Richard Andrew TTA's comment. So he saves that. And if Richard A5 refreshes, there it is. Now we can have a look at recent changes and it shows who joined when and who edited what. Let's say Richard A5 now wants to add a new page. We're going to go pages and files, click the plus button, add a page, page name, call it page two and create. So now we have page two. This is page two. If we go to another one of the members and notice that there's just the one page at the moment, but if we refresh this page, we can see now there's a page two and so on and so on. But that's a, a bit of a window into how the, the collaboration works. And if you think about that, if you have a small group of students collaborating on a particular topic or theme, or researching something and posting their, their views, um, linking to websites, then you can see that's a, a really useful medium via which to do that. One final thing we'll look at, let's say, let's see what happens if Richard Andrew 12 is editing. So he's in the middle of doing something, uh, but Richard Andrew TTA is also wanting to edit. So he clicks the edit button. Let's see if he's on page two and edit. So I've just made a, a tiny edit uh, from Richard Andrew TTA. And let's save Okay, so that actually allowed both edits to happen at the same time. I have tested this sometimes if two people are editing in the same spot, it will come up and say, 
um, Joe Bloggs is editing this page and it won't uh, just wait for five minutes and it won't allow. So uh, if people are editing in different parts of the wiki, it will allow. If people are trying to edit in the same spot, it won't. So it's a pretty cool system.